uh, hi friends uh, back with another video in this part of the video we are going to learn about the design of the check dams as per the pwd india guidelines so the pwd is the public work uh, department which undertakes uh, the development of the infrastructure uh, across the india uh, so here uh, we will uh, i will show you the uh, typical uh, design calculation of uh, the check dams uh, by uh, considering uh, the uh, the geographical standard of the india and uh, uh, i will show uh, the uh, the uh, hydraulic concepts uh, which is involved in the computation of the design parameters for the check dam okay so the check dams uh, are constructed across the uh, stream uh, to uh, 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 across the stream to raise the water surface level on the upstream and uh, flatten the the uh, river slope on the downstream okay so this will results in the uh, which will results in the prevention of the soil ero erosion of the stream at the downstream and uh, along with that if you uh, if you uh, if you compare with this uh, agriculture benefit uh, uh, benefit would be it will raise the ground water table due to storage of the water on the upstream of that chest this check dam so this will results in the uh, the ground water recharge so which helps in the crop production in the agriculture field okay and uh, so let's uh, move to this uh, uh, example case where we are going to uh, design the check dam okay so let's uh, move to the example case okay so here in this uh, example case we have a catchment area of uh, uh, 20 uh, square kilometers okay so suppose this if you consider this as a catchment uh, so suppose if you are proposing a check dam at this location so we need to delineate entire catchments which is on the upstream of it okay so for this case which is 20 square kilometers okay and in terms of uh, square miles it would be 7.72 square miles okay and the nature of the catchment is good condition so nature of the catchment uh, in, uh, is good in uh, condition it means that the it is uh, the it is a typical suburban watershed or you can say it as a rural catchment you can say which is uh, uh, which is uh, free from any pollution and it is uh, 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 it is having the natural features across this watershed and the average annual precipitation for this uh, area is 900 mm and 65 percent dependable rainfall is 750 mm so this 65 percent dependable rainfall is uh, based on the crop production and the monsoon dependency okay along with that we have the stream gauge data which is uh, uh, taken at this site okay so we have the uh, discharge which is measured at the site and the various uh, uh, st uh, stage of, of the river which is uh, observed at that location okay okay so first we will find out the yield of the catchment so yield from the catchment so that is that means the runoff volume generated uh, in the catchment so we can use this uh, uh, strange table to uh, find out the uh, to find out the yield of the catchments so based on the uh, the watershed condition okay so it is suitable for uh, karnataka and maharashtra state okay so we have the uh, so we have this uh, monsoon rainfall it is 750 mm and we know the condition of the catchment it is uh, good condition so check that uh, rainfall here so here if you check this uh, total monsoon uh, rainfall it is uh, around 750 so we are getting, having the nearest value is 760 and the percentage of runoff is for the good catchment is 26.3 okay so we okay so the yield per square kilometer from this catchment due to this uh, 750 mm of the uh, rainfall is uh, so this point uh, 
263 that is 26.3 percent percent into the 750 mm of the rainfall so the conversion factor would be 10 to the power minus 3 okay so the yield of this uh, yield per square kilometer of the catchment is uh, a point to one seven uh, one nine uh, seven two five okay so the overall yield of the catchment is a yield of the catchment is uh, point one nine seven two five or i can directly take it as this one into the overall area so the overall catchment area is uh, 20 square kilometers so so 3.925 is the overall yield of this catchment of 20 square kilometer okay so design flood we have the uh, this uh, dickens formula so dickens formula is 100 into area it is the catchment area to the power 3 by 4 okay not 100 it's a thousand okay thousand into uh to into area to the power 3 by 4 okay so the area should be here the uh, in this uh, dickens formula dickens formula the area should be in the square miles okay so square miles means uh, thousand into area area is uh, 7.72 to the power 3 by 4 3 by 4 is nothing but 0.75 okay Three by four, so is equals to four six uh, three one in terms of Q six. So in terms of Q max, so we need to do the conversion factor here. Okay, so four six four six three one into 0 0.0283 okay so 131.052 is the design discharge from the dickens formula so this is 131 so we have this nearest measure discharge which is 130 and we know the corresponding stage which we will uh, uh, use this uh, data in the later stage to fix the level of this uh, structural element of the uh, where uh, where's okay so now we will uh, go to this uh, uh, go to this one uh, this uh, to find the length of the where so this week you we already found the design discharge okay So now we for this uh, uh, design discharge of the sharp crested wear we sharp crested wear we have this equation q is equals to 1.84 l minus k n h h to the power 3 by 2 okay so l is the length of the wear and k is the coefficient of the end contraction and n is the number of uh, uh, contraction this two and the h is the total head over this spillway crest okay so you can consider this uh, image for your reference okay so these are the end contraction so on either side this arrangement is like this the sharp crested wear so you can see on either side the end contractions are there so that is why i am considered end contraction as the uh, the two numbers okay uh, and uh, uh, this uh, and the uh, the and the next second one is the the coefficient of the end contraction it is uh, at this contracted section of the wear okay i'll just go there 
uh, contracted section at this section the coefficient is uh, 0.2 okay sorry 0.1 the uh, the coefficient of the end contraction okay so so we will find the el that is the length of the wave so from this data so for the head of the crest head over the crest we will consider 1 meter as the head over the crest okay 1 meter as the head over the crest total head over the crest okay and uh, and we will assume the velocity head that is v square by 2g as uh, velocity head of uh, uh, of uh, 0 0.05 meters okay so in that means the total head would be 1 plus 1.05 so that means 1.05 is the total head uh, head of or this spillway crest okay so this we have the now we'll try calculate the length of the uh, the wear so by applying this uh, in this equation so i will uh, rearrange this equation and uh, calculate this uh, length of the crest okay okay so we have this q 131.05 05 okay and uh, 1.84 okay it's uh, mm, it is uh, 1.05 1.05 uh, to the power 1.5 mm, 3 by 2 okay mm, Okay. and k n h the k n h term so the k is 0 0.1 the n h is 2 and uh, h is the 1.05 okay so we have this uh, so we have this uh, length of the spillway uh, sorry the length of the wear so which is uh, 66 point uh, uh, 66 point uh, 40 meters okay and again so let's based on this uh, uh, this uh, design discharge q capital q and this uh, uh, length of the wear so we will find the discharge the the discharge intensity per meter length of the wear okay so this q is here q divided by this uh, mm, this length of this uh, length of the wear l okay so this is the this is the uh, the uh, the discharge intensity per uh, uh, per meter length of this uh, the wear okay so now we will use the scar we will find this cover depth for this uh, the uh, so cover depth for this one okay uh, for this check time okay so we have this formula 1.35 uh, to the power q small q we have 1.97 okay square line square okay divided by f so friction for f is the friction factor i am also considering the f as a one okay and hold to the power uh one by three three is point three three okay okay so the normal cover depth is uh, one uh, two point one one meter below the uh, the below the uh, highest flood level okay so this cover depth would be cover depth would be 2.11 meter below 